dyslexic library student from Queens College. Dyslexia is a learning disorder that impacts the way that people read. This does not mean that dyslexic folks can't read, just that it requires more work to do so. The same way a walker can be used to increase somebody's access to mobility, adjusting text environment can help dyslexics be able to read more easily. As a side note, for the purpose of this video, I will be using identity first language. While some people with disabilities prefer person first language, others like myself prefer identity first. Now, onto the open access data. I will be referencing four studies with links in the description. This video will focus on eight accessibility tips. One, know that every dyslexic person is different, and if customization is possible, this is ideal. Second is to utilize dyslexic-friendly fonts, such as Arial or Open Dyslexic. The more variability between the letters, the better. Third, limit the use of excess text. The cleaner the page is, the less mental sorting is required. Next, iconography and the use of images. A picture can be worth a thousand words. Why read a sentence when it can be summed up in an image? Next, warm colors and low contrast. Eye strain is common amongst dyslexic folks, one way to reduce the strain is through the use of color. Warm colors such as peach have been shown to have the most benefit and are linked to increased speed and comprehension. Additionally, provide trackers. Trackers can include physical lines or other timed mechanisms for the purpose of visual guidelines. Another way to track is by increasing spacing between lines. This helps avoid letter overlap. Last but not least, utilizing angles by changing the position of the text in relation to the reader's gaze can increase the ability to track and decrease eye strain. If you are unsure about what position works best, experiment. Try another one. Here is an example of me reading a library magazine. Notice the angle of my floor desk and the use of my visual tracker to segment text. Resources in our schools, libraries, and homes can be adapted to reduce the burden on dyslexic folks. Leave your comments below on how you think that you can use this information or additional tips and tricks that you have learned. 